just to give you all a quick insight in the Kamiska farm, we're a 700 acre hill farm. We're farming about 1,000 breeding ewes, 300 head of cattle. We've invested heavily in renewables. And we've also run a small outside contracting business as well. I mentioned that we've invested in renewables. Well, this is one of the first of the renewables we've invested in. A 60 kilowatt biomass log burner. As you can see behind me now, dawn is just starting to break. And I hope this mist is starting to be on the horizon lifts so that I can show you guys after some of the spectacular views of the South Wales Valleys. Just a little bit more now about Cumriska. It's been in the family since 1926. It's a hill farm that's situated just about four miles north of Bajen Town Centre. So about halfway between Cardiff and Swansea. I'm a fifth generation farmer at the farm here. I farm at home with my father, I'm my 86 year old grandfather, and I've been at home full time on the farm since leaving Agricultural College in summer of 2013. Another one of the businesses we've actually diversified into as well is a equine forage business, selling premium bales of hay, haylage and straw into the local equine market. Here's another one of our renewable investments, it's an 11 kilowatt wind turbine. Usually, you wouldn't believe it today, but we're in a pretty windy part of the world, not far away from the sea, and especially the 7 estuary when that wind blows up, it can be quite strong, so try to capitalise on the part of the world we live in. The energy that this produces will go to run the farm, the house, and then what we don't need gets exported back into the grid. Here we are, now the last of the livestock are all fed this morning. It's time to get on with the charity tractor run. Some tractors have just started arriving. Uh, this run will be raising money for air ambulance. And I think it's very important that as farmers, we do as much as we can to help try and support the community in any way by holding on farm events like this. And especially raising money for causes such as air ambulance. I'm, I'm here with uh, Wayne Dodd and Richard Rees, uh, two of the founding members of the annual tractor run from Cumriska Farm, both stalwarts of Glamorgan Iron Horse Vintage Society, and they're just going to give a little introduction to why they decided to start off this run. Well, after Mrs Anthony, your nan sadly passed away late in 2010, we wondered how we could do something to keep her memory going. So we had a think, and as her chosen charity was the Air Ambulance, from a life in farming, she knew with the hills and steep valleys around her, she feared if anyone was to have an accident or get injured, the only way any help would reach them would be by helicopter. So being members of a local group, the Glamorgan I Norse Vintage Society, we came up with the idea of having a charity tractor run, which we've done every January since, this being the ninth year, and to date we have raised in total over £10,000, not including today's event. It's great to be a Cumriska farm on yet another tractor run in aid of Wales Air Ambulance. Uh, the support of the farming community is hugely important to us as we attend many, many incidents on farms and rural areas in Wales, all over Wales. So thank you very much for your support today. It's really important to keeping our helicopters flying and saving lives. And we are so grateful for the support of the farmers in the Bridge End and Tom D area and also all over Wales and especially the young farmers who are supporting us so well this coming year. So thank you very much, Diochanoff. Well, it's been a fantastic tractor run so far. We've just stopped now for a quick look at the new Banksy painting, uh, his latest masterpiece here in South Wales. But no, it's been brilliant. We've travelled from Cumriska, where the run started, into the next town of Mysteg. Now we've dropped down into Batalbat. And uh, what I've really enjoyed is seeing the excitement on all the public, and especially the children's faces when they've seen the tractors going past them. But what's, what's even nicer than that is the feeling that we're putting on a bit of a display of what us farmers do in terms of raising money for rural causes such as the Wales Air Ambulance. So, 
the tractor run is over for another year. Over 50 tractors turned up today, which, you know, that's, that's absolutely brilliant. Great to see so many farmers and tractor enthusiasts all out for a worthy cause. I think a big thank you has got to go to everyone involved in the society, but a special mention must be to Richard Reese and Wayne Dodd for organising yet another brilliant run. You know, a lot of time and effort goes into planning the routes and advertising and promoting the, the whole event today. And they've done a brilliant job yet again, so, you know, it's absolutely great to be able to see so much money getting raised for a worthy cause such as the Air Ambulance. By here we got five pet grey taxi We um we bought them so that we can breed our own rams on the farm so we don't have to buy in any males in the future. They do to start lambing now end the uh, end of next month. And uh, here's a security guard. His main work will start at the end of March when the main flock starts lambing, won't it boy? Good boy you know. Keep Mr Fox away. So early finish now this evening. Just popped in to give this lovely boy his supper and a scratch. Then I'll be on my way to Bridgen Young Farmers Entertainment's practice, ready for the up and coming competition that's only a few weeks away. So, uh, I'll talk more about that after. Thank you very much for everyone that's viewed what I've been up to today. I hope we've all enjoyed seeing a couple of the routine jobs that we do on the farm, a little bit of an insight into some of the different enterprises we've got going on here. And most of all, I hope you enjoyed seeing the tractor run and seeing what a group of farmers can do in terms of raising money for the rural community. Um, I won't be logging out for a couple of hours, so if there's any questions, feel free to send me some and I'll answer them for you, no problem at all. Thank you very much all.